probably retire up there or yeah. go up there and start businesses. Uh -huh. So let's join Hobby and Tess out there uh, right now on this Field Trip Friday. Good morning, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, good morning. Good morning, folks. We're out here in the cool pines. I think that's what everybody thinks about mm -hmm. in coming up to the White Mountains to enjoy the beautiful scenery. A lot different from down in oh, the yeah. valley. You got tall pine trees, of course, the great outdoors, some wonderful hiking out here, and you got to go out and play out on the lakes. Exactly. There's a couple of great lakes right here, um, all within just a few miles of each other. Fool's Hollow Lake. Was that with an S? Fools, you say it with the S at the end. I know, remember the mayor was saying, no, yeah. people call it Fool Hollow. It's Fools yeah. Hollow Lake. And then Sholo Lake, which I know the drone has been flying over, showing us some beauty shots. But our Jessica Parsons had the chance to go out on Sholo Lake and Fools Hollow Lake to show us some of the fun you can have out there. We're in the gorgeous Ponderosa Pine Forest at Fool Hollow Lake. This is one of the most popular spots in Sholo. And getting out here on the water has never been easier. our hidden little gym. It gets very busy um, from now until about mid-August. Just three hours from Phoenix and at an elevation of 6,300 feet, you'll be at least 20 degrees cooler. Yeah, at home, we've got to sit under the air all day long, can't go outside, so that's why we come up here. At this state park, you'll pay a $7 entrance fee for a whole day of exploring. This campground offers high mountain trails and an 149-acre lake and looking forward to catching the fish. But he always gets home first, so. <laughs> and if you don't have the proper gear, I've got everything here that they could possibly need, from bait to snacks to ice cream, every boat that go out there, um, just to get some time on the water. Or experience. I'm gonna go right up on the rocks and then I'm gonna get stuck. J&T's has you covered from kayaks to paddle boards. <laughs> I've noticed there are two different signs. One says Fool's Hollow and one says Fool Hollow. <laughs> Which one is it? Officially it's Fool Hollow. Us locals call it Fool's Hollow. For a lake adventure closer to town, head over to Sholo Lake. Yeah, have fun here, like do stuff. Like right now we're doing geocaching and then we're going to jump in the lake. No entrance fees here to enjoy lush trees, year-round campsites, and an 100-acre lake. That's in the middle of town, so it's really good for those people that um, want to get that camping experience, but doesn't really want to quite get away from town. But you better hurry. It's high season in the high country. This is the busiest time of year for relaxing on the water at both lakes for man and man's best friend. She kind of just lays there and drinks the water every once in a while and really hangs out. This is one of her favorite things to do. So the rates out here start at about $20 an hour, but the campsites fill up, so you're going to want to make your reservations for that pretty early. And really, there's no better way to spend the day than out on the water in these cooler temps. And with that, we'll send it back to you guys. Uh, thank you very much, Jessica. We love going out to the lakes. We pack a picnic lunch. There's tons of great picnic areas. You go fishing, you're all good. 